probably the most sought after shipwreck in the Great Lakes. It's it quite literally the holy grail, if you will, of shipwrecks. Some of the top archaeologists in France dove into Lake Michigan today as work continues to identify the 17th century ship, the Griffin. Now that ship, which belonged to French explorer Robert LaSalle, disappeared more than 300 years ago after it left Washington Island. This weekend, the Great Lakes Exploration Group is stationed in Fairport, Michigan, hoping to positively identify the long lost ship. Fox 11's Ben Kremoltz has been with the crew and brings us today's update. As France's top underwater archaeologist, it's up to Michel Lahour to help determine if the Griffin has finally been found. So we want to find, to find some details of the architecture of the ship, while also some artifacts which can testify that this is a wreck and this wreck is a griffin. It's why we are here. Lahour and Olivia Ulo dove into Lake Michigan for the first time Saturday. They looked near a timber jutting out of the lake bed that Steve Liber believes is part of Lake Griffin. He found it in 2001 after looking for the ship since 1981. It could be what we, we think it is, but we don't know for sure until it's 100% positively identified, uh, a scientific identification, which is 100%. The French archaeologists looked at the possible shipwreck site after a decade of legal and political battles. And now that they're finally here, Everyone is being extremely cautious before making any proclamations. If it is Le Griffin, it's one of the most significant maritime casualties in the Great Lakes. For the past two days, commercial divers have been dredging in the area, hoping to give archaeologists a better look. Soon they expect to reach the ship's deck, which should reveal more to Lahore. So maybe in uh, less than 10 minutes tomorrow, we can find some artifacts, which is a proof. Or maybe we have to wait for one week. Nobody knows. That's a challenge. A challenge these explorers plan to see through until a final determination can be made. In Fairport, Michigan, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Pretty neat. Members of the exploration crew told Ben one cultural artifact was found today. However, they would not reveal what underwater treasure they discovered. The crew also found other items they plan to analyze overnight.